Hi and welcome to Craft for Business. In this video, I'm going to show you how craft can be the backbone of your business. From building a single source of truth for your co-workers and creating daily remote stand-up notes to creating and sharing amazing looking documents. Today we're starting right at the beginning and we're going to build a workspace for your whole team to rely on. What makes Craft stand apart from other ways of organising your company's information is the ability to create an interwoven library of documents that can be easily reorganised. This makes it perfect to build a workspace. It's best to think of a workspace as a single source of truth for a company. It can be relevant to everyone from HR to newly formed teams. When building a workspace you want to make sure that people can easily find whatever they need and that it can grow organically as your company grows. We're going to build a workspace for our fictional company, company.do. Rebecca Brown from the People team is going to build it, as they have the best understanding of what everyone in the company needs to know. When you first open Craft, you'll automatically have a personal space created for you. This is Rebecca's. While a personal space is an amazing place to store private work, in this video we're going to focus on making a team space for the whole company to join. To do this, we'll go up into the left corner of Rebecca's window and click on her name. From here, click Create New Space, then type in the name of your space and hit Create. Now we can invite other stakeholders using their emails. We'll add James from Design and Sam from Product. We can add more people later, but we'll set up the workspace first. After separating your work into spaces, the next level of hierarchy is folders. On the left-hand side of the screen is the folder section. Once filled, this will show your folders, subfolders and top-level documents. We're going to go ahead and make folders for some other teams so they can add their content in their own time. On the right of the folder section is a small plus symbol. Click that and you'll open a new window to create a new folder. We're going to start with the marketing team. Let's pick an icon to make it stand out. You have the option of default icons or pretty much any emoji. We'll stick with icons here. Let's choose a color and click create. Perfect. Marketing has a few teams in company.do. It covers content, SEO, social media and more. So let's add some subfolders here. There are a few ways to do this. You can click on the three dot menu to the right of the folder we just created and select create new subfolder. Or if you have the marketing folder open, you can tap new in the top right and click create new folder. You can even create a higher level folder and drag it into marketing to make it a subfolder. We'll let marketing complete the area and I'm going to create a homepage for anyone coming into the company space. Here we're going to create a document that can be updated regularly and is the first place the team goes to keep up to date with what's happening for the whole team. Let's make a folder called Company Home. Love it. Now we're going to create a document directly in here, so go to the New button and select New Document. I'm going to call this Company.do Homepage. The next level in hierarchies for structuring your work is pages or cards. This is where you can start to organise information within your documents. I'll show you how to make them now. First I'll start a new block of text just by clicking here and typing announcements. Now if I go to the style menu on the right hand side I have the option to group this as a page or a card. I'll click page for now. There's also a keyboard shortcut for this which is Ctrl, Shift and P. From here I can click on the block and it opens the page as its own area. Now I can simply add content. I'm going to add some announcements in here for August 2022 and show you how quickly you can format text in Craft. Let's make a subtitle for the month by going back to the style panel and selecting subtitle. On the next line I'll add a separator in the insert menu here. I'll make a heading for company announcements and then select block in the style menu. On a new line, I'll type out a couple of company announcements. I want to make it obvious what these deliveries are, so I'll highlight company library and make it bold. For company handbook, I'll make it bold and select highlight by clicking this symbol in the pop-up menu. Here I can choose a gradient to really make it stand out. I'll even add a link to it by going over to the at symbol and choosing the file I want to link. Now you can easily navigate to that document. Next there will be two more sections for team announcements and product announcements. I'm going to change the colour of this block to differentiate it by clicking and dragging to select it all. Going to the style menu and selecting blue. 
While that's still selected, I can use the Ctrl D shortcut to duplicate that and quickly change the colour to green and Ctrl D again and make this one purple. Now I can quickly go in and change the content. I can add a link here just like I did before and below I can add a date by typing the at command and typing 24JUN. I'm going to add another separator and put last month's updates here but instead of keeping them there I can select all of them by clicking the top line and then holding shift and clicking the bottom line. Now if I right click and select group or use the shortcut Ctrl G I can instantly turn this into a page and store all of that information cleanly below so it's easy to find it when needed. Just to finish up I'm going to add a cover image by going to the page style menu and toggling on cover image. Now I can click on the grey box and select an image from Unsplash. Unsplash is a great collection of free to use photos just type in a word and find your perfect photo for your document. Back out in the company.do homepage, things are looking a little empty, so I'll quickly add some more content. The first thing I'm going to do is change the announcements page into a card. As I mentioned before, a card functions the same as a page, but allows you to highlight your most relevant content with more appearance options. I'll select the page and in the style menu, change the toggle to card. In the window that appears, I'm going to scroll across the card styles to the largest. Keep the font style modern and under background, I'm going to add another photo from Unsplash. That's looking much better. Now that we know how to do that, I'm going to fill up the rest of the company home. Firstly, finishing off the company information with a card on mission, vision and values. Company plans for the year ahead. An in-depth employee handbook that we'll take a look at later. Customer feedback press coverage, and the employee directory. Next I'll add a team information section, which will be more regularly updated with a team reading list and a list of upcoming events. While I've been doing that, other team leads have been adding their own sections over here on the left, and in just a short amount of time, the whole company has been able to fill out their workspace. Now that you've created your team's workspace, you can check out more Craft for Business videos, where we cover everything from taking stunning and informative meeting notes to sharing external communications. Thanks for watching.